Hello and welcome to Lumen Weekly. Yes, it's been a while. Uh, I sort of missed last week's episode. I don't even know how I missed that. I, I did tell you in one of the vlogs that I totally forgot. I, I don't know how I forgot about it, but it just didn't come out. Um, we were really busy last weekend and somehow I just like it was already Wednesday and then someone reminded me that it was supposed to be there and I totally I've set a reminder now I really have I won't forget again okay unimportant though it's here now so it's actually quite important but it's here now uh, and we were talking about E3 well we were gonna talk about E3 it's, you might have already all forgotten about it but then it's nice because you're getting a bit of a refresher now um, you can relive the I don't know if you can call it splendor or magnificence because some people didn't really like E3. I don't know. I I personally enjoyed. I watched quite a few of the, a bit of the live stream, quite a few of the like videos from it, and I, I watched a lot of the trailers and all that stuff. And I got to say, there was a, there was like a bit of stuff to be excited for. I can tell you all that you should probably check out Toby Turner's channel um, because he uploaded a lot of cool interviews and videos and stuff there with with like a few of the different developers and mostly Ubisoft but a few of the others as well and it was pretty interesting so check that out um, otherwise like if I just give like straight off what I was really excited for what I really enjoyed I'd say um, you know I like the Wii U I thought it was interesting it's not super amazing to me it's not something that's going to change my life I probably won't buy it but I thought it was quite interesting Skyrim was obviously amazing looking really really cool Mass Effect 3 how can you not be excited for that the only reason I'm excited for that is because it's the sequel to Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 2 is amazing I want to know what happens um, the new Tomb Raider looked really really good that's uh, I mean I'm never excited for Tomb Raiders but that one looks that one looks pretty damn good um, Battlefield 3 looks looked good like looked good. I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy the gameplay. I'm not a big Battlefield fan I don't like these modern warfare style shooters. It just doesn't work for me, but it looked okay um, Good better than okay. Very good actually um, So that's it. I asked you guys to tell me what you were excited for and I asked you to ask me questions about it And we'll start with what you were excited for. Firstly actually Cyberwolf X has just said sort of on the topic of the previous episode uh, with Heart of the Swarm and stuff. He said he hopes Scrap Station goes in Heart of the Swarm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's gonna go, don't worry. Um, and he misses Reavers, and he says he's not worried about balance because Blizzard know what they're doing, so that's just just putting that out there. He's he's absolutely right with all of that. I think they're definitely gonna drop Scrap Station, but we're not here to talk about StarCraft. Um, unless there was StarCraft at E3, this camera's a bit skew. I'm just gonna leave it like that, actually. I'll move this way. <laughs> okay. That's better. I'm in the middle now. Okay, so... There was a lot of hype here, like a lot of you were mentioning Star Wars The Old Republic, and I can't blame you. Um, it wasn't one of my highlights of the show, because I feel that they didn't cover it as much as they could have, and the, the reveals and like the stuff that they showed wasn't that great. The, the trailer that they released before E3, that was like the intro trailer for the game, that looked really good. Um, and that's actually what Edenite says here. Um, the trailer, intro trailer was amazing, and you're right Edenite was absolutely brilliant. I mean all their videos have been really good and you can't expect anything else from Bioware so. Then D Divine says the Old Republic he thinks that's gonna be a wow killer. <laughs> We've heard that before. But I, I've sort of I'm staying away from the term wow killer for now. Uh, I won't disagree but I can't agree either. I mean I'm sure it'll take a huge chunk of the population away for uh, the first little bit but who knows if they're gonna stay. Who knows if they can keep the game um, consistently good. Like it's it's difficult for for people for developers to make an MMO good and keep improving on what they've started. And it's yeah, it's tough. I, I'm very interested in seeing how it does. I will most definitely play it if I could get into the beta. I'd be totally happy. I would be incredibly happy. I'd try it out, um, and I'd make videos about it. So, bottled water is good. Says his most anticipated game is Skyrim. Why the hell not? <laughs> That's what he said. Um, and yes. It definitely it looked amazing the, the gameplay piece that they showed there while some of it looked a bit scripted like the whole dragon flying down and attacking you randomly um, it didn't look that random to me but the game itself looks absolutely amazing the, the system that they spoke about about the dragons and stuff the way they explained it sounded really good I would have liked to see more of the game like I would have liked to see more freedom I would have liked to see some players playing it and doing what they wanted running off in random directions to enjoy themselves but you know it's asking a bit much, I think. But yes, looks good. And then KK Plix also says Skyrim. Um, he says the Morrowind music is imprinted into his soul. 
I didn't actually listen to the Morrowind music. Hmm. I played more Oblivion than Morrowind. I know it's a tragedy, but I enjoyed Oblivion a lot. I don't know. Then Ball15 says the new Assassin's Creed looks amazingly uh, awesome. Yeah. I liked the I liked the intro. I liked the little piece of gameplay that they showed. I liked the the re the reveal trailer. Was it the reveal trailer? Um I think Toby Turner also did a literal on that, but that trailer was amazing. The music was really cool. Uh, it was really well done. It looks like the story is going to be very interesting as well. The graphics are amazing. I don't know. The game itself looks good. I'm not a huge Assassin's Creed fan. We have Assassin's Creed 1 on PlayStation 3, and it was a lot of fun, but I feel that the other Assassin's Creeds were sort of just more of the same after that, so I hope they change it up a bit. Um, Draenor Starcraft says Halo 4. That's all. He just says Halo 4. So, um, I saw the trailer for the, the intro reveal thingy. It was very short. I saw that for Halo 4. It looked good. And while I know that the Halo games were really good and they're quite popular, um, I'm not sure. That's like, that's four Halos already. And that's WoW over there. What instance is that? It's Zulaman. Um, so, like, I'm, I'm still sort of on the fence about Halo. I don't have an Xbox myself, so I'm not going to play it or buy it. But I am a, I am a sort of I'm a fan. I think the series was really good. It was incredibly well made, um, and it's done amazing things for the Xbox. So whatever. I'm I'm also pretty happy for for Halo. Then Gryos says uh, also Skyrim, and if you have to choose one thing about Skyrim, he says horses. <laughs> it's very weird, Gryos. Um, he never used them much in Oblivion, but apparently they'll work better now in Skyrim. Um, you could probably he says he could have come up with something better, but he's tired. <laughs> so. And he didn't pay that much attention. Um, horses, well, I, I hope they do ride a bit better. I didn't like them very much in Oblivion. I, I felt that they were a nice addition, but they didn't really play an integral role in the game. I mean, I didn't really feel obliged to get a horse and, and ride it around. <laughs> no. But that's it's nice. Appreciate the little things. Then, there's a lot from Bob T. Godfish here. And yes, I've been saying his name wrong. It's not Goldfish, it's Godfish. But anyway, un unless he changed it, hmm, whatever. He says his name should be fixed now, Teehee. Um, anyway, his reactions to E3 on a whole, is, he felt underwhelmed. Um, so, he says he owns all three current generation consoles and doesn't care about connect or move. Uh, so, for 59% of the Sony and 75% of the Xbox conferences, he was bored. Like, I can totally relate with that. I have a PlayStation, I don't want to get a move. I'm not even interested in that. Personally, like the Kinect... Um, it looks like it could be fun, but I don't want to be jumping around when I want to play games. That's just, I like, I go to the gym, I walk, I, I get exercise elsewhere, I don't want to jump around in, in, in front of my console. And yes, the games look fun, yes, some of them could be really amazing, but it's just not for me. I don't, I'm not a big fan of any of the, of the motion sensor stuff. Um, so, he also asks, where are the new IPs? It was all sequels and reboots, wasn't it? He's right, it was. It was pretty much just sequels and reboots. It's funny, I mean, that's just, that's just what's happening with the games, because it feels to me like the people, the games developers think all the good ideas have been, like, drained from this world, and all you've got is the, the older ones to work from. And that's why a lot of the new games that come out, especially MMOs, sort of take a lot from other MMOs that have been successful, like WoW. And it's difficult for them to, to try something new because it's too much of a risk because there's so much money involved, so much work in time. Um, so I, I guess that's just how it goes. That's why they have um, all these reboots and, and sequels. He says he likes the Wii U reveal. Um, he says he's going to talk about the rest of his stuff in another post. And here you go. For him, his favorite was Mass Effect 3. He won't lie. Um, he was going to play it anyway, but the part in the Microsoft demo where the guy was using his voice to control the team was almost enough to make him buy a Kinect. Um, of course, Star Wars The Old Republic is something he wants to be part of too, but, um, yeah, you know, it, he says you can't count on it because you never know. They've been teasing about it for so long, and I agree with him as well. Like, it's it's been revealed, and it's been teased and it's been uh, showcased and it's been it's been all over the news for so long and we still don't really know when it's coming out I don't know uh, which is I suppose the case with many games I'm also waiting for Torchlight 2 that's one of my big uh, I don't know wishes for this year um, other than that I say um a lot don't I unimportant <laughs> then he says that there wasn't a really big F yeah moment at this uh, E3. He's, it's also 
he says here, due to the Heart of the Swarm preview the week before, possibly, um, I think that's it's quite possible, but at the same time, like, it's it comes back to what you were saying about no new IPs. Uh, it's, it's tough. Uh, I think it is tough for them to come up with really good ideas. I would have been excited if they released Terraria at E3. That would have been a big moment for me. <laughs> because that game is it's, it's amazing. And it's something I feel pretty different from what's out there at the moment. I know a lot of people are saying it's a lot like Minecraft. Sure, it is a lot like Minecraft in some ways. But it's still very revolutionary in other ways. Anyway. But, oh, f it's really fun. Okay. Um, but there wasn't a really big huge... Like, I think a lot of people sort of... Th their moment, their big moment was the Wii U reveal. And maybe so more so for the Wii fanboys that already have Wiis, because it lets them get the best of both worlds of the new generation, next gen, next gen consoles, and the old, well, not old, their Wii. <laughs> um, and that's obviously pretty exciting for them. But at the same time, I feel that I I'm pretty disappointed that they, that Nintendo sort of decided to go with Wii U for this generation, because this is not a next gen console. Okay, I mean you could call the PlayStation 3, the Xbox, and all that, like, you could call it next gen, but it's not any, it's not next gen anymore, it's now the current generation. Um, that's what they were called when they were still, you know, you know what I'm saying. Uh, so, like, it's, it's a bit disappointing that they went and blew it now, and they didn't save it up and sort of try and get the better technology in there to, to actually take it a step forward. But... Uh, you know, it looks exciting, it looks like it could be a lot of fun, so I'm not going to say anything bad about it. Then, the questions. Bob T. Gold, uh, Bob T. Gold, not Gold, Godfish. Um, he, uh, did I feel that the show lacked, did, uh, um, and then didn't have that F.E.A. moment? Um, I just sort of explained that before, <laughs> so I'm not going to answer that one. And, am I stoked for Halo 4? He says he's not an FPS fan. Um, and he just wished they'd let the series go and, and let it be remembered as the great series that it was. Uh, you know, that's again, like we were saying, like I was saying, not we, uh, they just can't let go of these things because there's so much money in it that even just announcing Halo 4 will probably give them more sales on Halo 3. And it's just that they're going to sell a lot of copies of Halo 4, whether it's good or bad. I'm not really excited for Halo 4, I don't own an Xbox, I didn't play the other Halos, I know a lot about, not a lot about them, but I've seen a lot about them. Um, I feel that the, the series is great, the, the games look like they're amazing, but it's not something I'm getting excited about at all, now. Then, Finovids. I am most excited about Star Fox 64 on the 3DS. I would buy a 3DS just for that game, despite being amongst the 20% that cannot see the 3D. I didn't know that percentage was that high. 20% is pretty crazy uh, that can't see the 3D. I can see the 3D. Uh, I know that for a fact. And I do like Star Fox. Uh, if I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's the one where you could even have, like, you can voice chat with people, you can see their faces, because it records their, their face, facial expressions on the webcam, like, on the, on the 3DS when you're playing. Is that the game? I think that's the game. That looked amazing. That looked really cool. So you can see your friends' faces when you're shooting them out of the sky. Um, and yeah, the multiplayer aspect obviously looks amazing. So I, I, I gotta say, I, I'm with him on that one. It looks exciting. Um, he's also excited for the Wii U. He is looking for a Civilization or Terraria port. Um, you know, it would be fun, I guess. I want, I want Terraria on my iPhone. That's what I want. I know it would be awkward to play and, and all that, but it would be fun. Imagine adventuring in the dungeon and like digging underground and going into hell. No, I'm going to hell on my iPhone, but I think it could be fun. Anyway, so, um, he said, has anyone ever told you you look like Spike Spiegel from Cowboy Bebop? Um, I loved Cowboy Bebop, by the way, and no, no one's ever told me that. I don't think I look like him right now. Maybe I need to fix the hair. Okay, I just showered a little while ago and my hair's been washed, so I don't look like him right now. But no, no one's told me that yet. Thank you. I think it's a compliment, because Spike Spiegel was... he's, he's a character. That guy's great. Um, and he's, he's quite a charmer, too. Hmm. Okay, so, Ball15. My question to you is, without trying to start a console war... <laughs> Ball... You silly Billy. Of course you're gonna start a console war. Um, a lot of my friends were kind of disappointed with the Microsoft and Sony conferences. Now I can talk a lot about that because I, 
Wait, let me just read the rest of the question first. Now, keep it in mind, many people laughed the Wii saying it couldn't compare to the PS3 and Xbox. Last year's E3 showed just how good the Nintendo are. So, what's your opinion? Who had the better conference? Okay, so, um, I think hands down Nintendo had the best conference. Straight up, that's it. And the reason for that is because, as Bob T. Godfish mentioned, um, I do think that Xbox and Sony, Microsoft and Sony, they did focus too much on their motion control stuff. Like, seriously. The Microsoft conference was a bunch of people, for, for 75% of the time, as he mentioned, a bunch of people jumping around like crazy, like on the stage, and, and going mad there. I, I didn't like that. I thought it was just, it got a bit much. Um, I, I don't think that they really revealed anything revolutionary, as we said. And I feel the Sony conference was sort of the same. They focused a bit too much on the move. Uh, there were a few more like interesting games and stuff that were coming for Sony, I think. But I, I gotta say, hands down, the, the Nintendo conference was the best. Uh, the Wii U reveal, it was like, they sort of revealed the little handheld part of it. And then people were like, hmm, that's neat. But then they showed this little video of that little bird flying around there and we were like, okay, is this a movie they're playing us? It doesn't make sense at all. And then they revealed the console and then it was like pretty, yeah, I was, I was happy about that. I, I thought, okay, about time. Um, peop, the, the Nintendo fans can play the Nintendo games um, on a proper console for once. So I was happy about that. And wow, that new Zelda looked really good. So I say hands down, uh, Nintendo had the most entertaining one as well. I mean, I like... <coughs> The Nintendo guys have character. The guys who work for Nintendo, the main men at Nintendo, they f it just feels to me like um, they put their heart and soul into that, into their company and they, they, they really try and make it like for the fans. They try and make something that they know the people or that they want the people to enjoy. Uh, they don't just make stuff to make money. So obviously they get money, that's a byproduct. Unfortunate, but they do. Uh, well, not unfortunate, but whatever. So, I, but basically, in short, I think Nintendo had the best conference of the three. And starting a console war not really going to happen. I mean, I've got a, I've got a Xbox, uh, Xbox. I've got a PlayStation Three, and I still feel that the, the Sony conference wasn't that great. Then Bob, Tree, Bob T. Godfish is back. Also, as an aside, someone needs to tell the techs at Sony conference. I should have put this before. I didn't organize these questions well enough. Um, <laughs> that hearing all the guest speakers breathing and swallowing is really off-putting. I gotta say, I agree with you. Um, the mics were way too sensitive. It was actually pretty disgusting hearing all of that. It's like, it sounded like they had the mic right here and then it was like, you could hear, I don't know, it was, it was bad. You could hear, <laughs> and like when they were, because the move stuff was happening and you had these guys jumping around there and, uh, no, it was, no, it wasn't good. Anyway, okay. Uh, bottled water is good. Are you looking forward to, Ma forward to Mass Effect 3? Have you played Mass Effect 1 and 2? If so, what's your favorite character? Tali Zora. By far, I'll answer that one first because that's the straight up bam. Um, I like Jack as well. Jack is the the tattooed girl from Mass Effect 2. I played Mass Effect 1 and 2. Amazing games. My probably one of my favorite series ever. I love Mass Effect. I can't wait for Mass Effect 3. I'm very excited. I can't really say much more about that. Uh, I like the Shepard, the female Shepard character. Voice acting was amazing, much better than the male one in my opinion. And Tali Zora, I think that's her name, was my favorite of the other characters. Anyway, we're nearly at the end now. Two questions left. What do you think about Star Wars The Old Republic? Hmm. I sort of answered that before, but I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, I want to see if they can if they can make something good and keep it going for longer than just a month. Like, you know, keep that initial rush of people, keep them addicted, keep them hooked to the game. Bioware is involved, so it could be good. I like the whole fully voice acted thing as well, so it looks good. Then, <laughs> a pretty random question at the end here. Rugby fan 808 asks... Uh, Swen, my man, answer this please. What, I what is your opinion, if any, on Canada? <laughs> okay, I don't know why he asked that, but he asks, uh, any aspirations to go there? Any interest in the country at all? Obviously, he's from there and addicted to the weather, and uh, he'd love to see my opinion. He says he loves Africa, always wanted to visit there because of the, uh, he loves animals and they fascinate him. Um, Canada, I don't know, I like maple syrup. <laughs> no, I don't know. No, seriously, though. Um, it, it looks to me like a, a more inline, cleaner version of America, of the US. I can't say. Um, it looks to me like I'd like the weather there. It looks pretty cold. It looks pretty uh, sharp. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like it's going to be pretty chilly all year round. I don't know, though. I don't know. Do you have, cold, do you have hot summers? 
Is it cold all the time? Any of the Canadians out there can let me know. I don't know much about the country. I know that you have a lot of French-speaking people there. Uh, Montreal looks amazing. I just know that I watch the Formula One there every now and then. Um, I don't know much about the country. My opinion is uh, is good. <laughs> okay, uh, I've had some really like from what I've seen on the, from the U.S. It is. I don't know if I want to live there. Like. But Canada, if I had to choose to go somewhere in North America, Canada would, Canada would probably be one higher on the list. It, it looks like a nice country. I can't really say much else about it. Um, and then lastly, Willie Ireland and Mr. Fabian Fabio, very interesting, to, were the first two to comment on this video, so I thought I'd just mention that too. They were very excited about that. Uh, but that's going to be it. That's all the, all the questions and answers and everything about E3. I'm pretty sad that there weren't any huge reveals and all that just like you guys were, but I still feel that it was entertaining and we've got BlizzCon to look forward to and Gamescom, that's coming soon as well so that's going to be interesting uh, I wish I could go to those, but alas I don't think I will, sadly anyway, okay, so for next week uh, what I want to do is, uh, I'm going to change it, make it a bit more a bit different, so we're sort of halfway through the year now and what I did at, at last year, at the end of last year, I released a video that covered my top five YouTubers of the year. Okay, so I thought that now, because we're halfway through the year, we could just sort of have a look back and assess what we've uh, seen, uh, what we've enjoyed on YouTube, and I wanted to discuss just like who your favorite YouTubers are, who you feel you've been watching a lot. You don't and don't mention me. I don't want to hear that. Like I don't need to hear that at all. You can mention it, but I don't. It doesn't matter. I want to know. Like, who have you maybe started watching this year that sort of grabbed your attention and you can't stop watching? Who are your favorites to watch? It doesn't matter what category, if they're just gaming related, general, like, I know everyone probably watches Ray William Johnson because I think the whole world is subscribed to him, but anything, like any YouTubers out there that you really enjoy, um, which of them do you feel sort of entertains you? If you find there are ones that are educational that you like watching for that reason, let me know about that. Like, just sort of discuss, have a bit of a conversation about what you've been enjoying. Like, I've got a lot of YouTubers. I'm subscribed to lots of people. And uh, I, like, I've got a bit of everything there. Okay, I've got some music. I've got some educational stuff. They're not really educational, but you know, that kind of stuff. I've got lots of gaming-related ones. Um, I've got lots of funny ones. I've got lots of sort of vlog-style uh, YouTube channels there. And I feel there's a lot to talk about about that. And it's now halfway through the year, and at the end of the year, I'm probably going to make another one of those videos and cover my top five for this past year. But I think it's an interesting topic, and it's something that, I don't know, it doesn't get discussed very often. I know it's sort of rude because you can only choose X amount. Like, you can say, oh, I love the Yogg's cost, but, but, I, but I also like this guy over here. And you'll feel bad if you don't mention them all now. So don't give me long lists. Try sort of give me your top one or two favorites, tell me about what you enjoy about them, you know, that kind of thing. Just uh, why they uh, why they sort of deserved your sub, that's pretty much it. And yeah, you can ask me about, the, for the questions, you can ask me about what I think about other YouTubers. I'll give you as honest as I possibly can answers, without being rude or anything. Uh, that's just assuming there are actually ones out there that I don't like. but. You can ask me about which my favorites are, you can ask me about what I think about others, um, you can ask me anything about YouTubers, about YouTube, all that kind of stuff. So that's it. Thanks again for watching, or well, thanks for the first time for watching. Thanks for all the questions and stuff, it was entertaining, as always, and um, it's much appreciated. I always enjoy having a look at these. Bob T. Godfish definitely, like, three different paragraphs here. You go out of your way, don't you? <laughs> thanks. Um, but it, it's entertaining. So next week, YouTube. That's it. Uh, I'll put that in the, in the comments. Well, I'll put it in the description below for if, in case you forget. <laughs> okay. I don't think you're going to. Uh, but that's going to be it. Again, thanks for watching. And uh, let me just see if I can get a bit of Nero in there. I'm moving the camera. Oh no. Happy uh, Nero Puffy. Trying to, I'm sorry, boy. Trying to sleep. <laughs>